Good morning. It's 4 a.m. on Friday, December 12th. That means several things. Number one, it's only 329 days until Rockstock. Number two, I'm going to London today to the U Ball. And number three, I am so tired. I'm at the airport right now and I got myself some coffee and a croissant for a ridiculously high amount of money. But I guess that's the way it is when you travel. I'm trying to get fully awake now and I hope I can sleep on the plane because I'm really tired. But I'm getting giddy and excited and sleepful because I'll be in London in like three hours. I finally reached my destination. I had some trouble with my hotel, but I managed to um, figure that out. And I am now at Covent Garden. It's 12 o'clock and I'm going to eat something. So how awesome is it that I can vlog with this in the background? Yeah, I know, pretty awesome. So the things that happened today, number one, the flight was okay, except for the fog around here. We, when we landed, we couldn't see the runway, literally, until we landed. It was it was bad, it was really bad, like the man just breathing like crazy. And I overheard some people at McDonald's today talking about Harry Potter and when the last book is going to come out. I mean, seriously people, where have you been? And then to my pleasant surprise, London is not half as full as I ex expected it to be. Um, it's much emptier than I remember it, which is nice, because I hate too many people around. Um, but there are exceptionally many joggers around here. Some of them are just even wearing only shorts and t-shirts. I'll try to capture some of them. And then also about the first thing I did today, uh, I went to Covent Garden, which I remember as being very nice, and it was. And, um, I saw a woman singing opera, which was awesome. And a guy in a kilt on a ladder juggling with knives. That was fun too. I wanted to film him, but yeah, he didn't seem to approve that much. You'll see. London. That's where I am right now. Yay! Okay, I had some problems with my hostel, obviously. Um, yeah, I already mentioned that. But they didn't have my reservation and um, they didn't have any free rooms left, or at least not rooms not sharing with like 20 people, which I don't want to do. Um, so I found a reasonably cheap hotel and I'm staying in that for now. It's, it's actually, I think, closer to the venue and um, yeah, it's, it's okay, I guess. And then, London, London. Okay, random impressions I got from London. Um, I didn't take too much videos, sort of. I don't know, I don't know why. Maybe I was just enjoying London too much. So, things I noticed. Number one, people say such British things. Like, um, bloody hell, and righty ho, and that's just so cute, and well, British. Um, no offense to anyone who's British and watching this. It's just, I love it and, and I have to refrain from squeeing too much. And then the second thing is, British people are so much more friendly than German people. That might be a self-fulfilling prophecy maybe because that's what I learned at school, that British people are nicer than Germans. And so maybe I perceive it that way because I learned it or I expect it to be that way. but. No, I don't think so. I think they are really much more friendly um, than, than Germans. And then number three, I love the tube. It's awesome. Um, at school, we've sort of been drilled on using this, the tube. Like with 
the eastbound, westbound, northbound, southbound, and we had exercises on how to get where, with which tube, and where to change, and that stuff. That was my English class, whatever. Um, but it, that helped a lot, and when I got here, it's easy as that to use the tube for me, which is awesome. It's, it's a very great, it's a great model transportation system. And then number four, which is of course not very awesome for you American guys, but bookstores with English books. I know that's totally not interesting for you, but like, forgive me my excitement because in Germany we don't have very many English books. Um, and, and I love books in the original language. And yeah, so I'm just excited about that. And I went in like four or five already today, but I didn't buy any books. I might buy a Paper Towns later this weekend, I'll see. And then the fifth thing, just randomly shot, shot out, um, red telephone boxes, booths, whatever. You know, the ones from Harry Potter, of course. This weekend, I haven't been yet, but this weekend I will go into one and dial magic. And yes, yes I will. And then I'll be in the, at the Ministry for Magic and maybe a lot. But I'll try it anyway. <laughs> um, because I'm just like that. Okay. Um, shout outs. Matt, Eris, Susie, Michelle. <laughs> I'm all kinds of jealous for your human wall. But I'm also happy that it was so awesome. And especially the McDonald's incident. Epic. That must have been an epic weekend. Um, Fran, you are insane for not sleeping the, day, the night before you left. But I shall see you tomorrow for real. Jules, congratulations on finishing your finals. I found your video <laughs> so cute. So cute. I love you. I love all of you guys, but this week I especially love Jules for her video. Um, and Matt and Ariel, good luck for your remaining papers and exams or whatever there is. You can do it. Okay. I don't think I have any more to say. No, I don't think so. Oh, except, yeah, I am totally excited for the U ball tomorrow. And well, like, yeah, so, and I'm sure I find some other things I can do because I love London and I want to see everything and I already walked, like, I don't know, I've been out for like four hours and I think I walked three of them. So I already saw a lot of, well not a lot, but I already saw a bit of London and um, yeah, I'll just keep on walking aimlessly through the city because that's the best way to experience cities in my opinion. Just go ahead and look at nice places and find nice places. Yeah. And red telephone boxes. Okay. Um Matt, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>